Hello and welcome to the Billionaire Journey Podcast. First of all, let me wish you a Merry Christmas. I hope you are celebrating your Christmas and you're enjoying it. <laughs> I am also enjoying my Christmas, even though this Christmas seems to be a bit boring because I, I mean, this is the first Christmas I'll be celebrating in the UK and no, everywhere it's silent. Like maybe it's this. Is it silent night, holy night that they sing? You know, maybe that that's the meaning <laughs> because everywhere is silent. Uh, maybe it's just where I am, or maybe it's because I've not really, you know, gotten to really know a lot of people that I could visit. And as at this moment, I don't drive, and it means that I could not even go greet people if um, if I'm invited. For example, my pastor actually invited me. But I couldn't go because I don't drive right now. And the house is triply far away from each other. Um, so how are you celebrating your Christmas? Uh, I just want to mention the different ways by which uh, people, you know, in different places celebrate Christmas. You know, uh, people celebrate Christmas for different reasons. For, for example, I'm a Christian. So when I celebrate Christmas, I celebrate Christmas with the sense that Christ was born, that is, Jesus Christ was born. Of course, there are different views about Christmas. Some people say it's Jesus wasn't born on the 25th, that it was a holiday dedicated to a God and all of that. But I've chosen to believe that either Jesus, excuse me, either Jesus was born on Christmas Day or not, I am going to just celebrate Christmas with that mindset of celebrating christ and i know a lot of people celebrate christmas for different reasons and this is based on their personal traditions and preferences so what are some of the common ways uh, about which people celebrate christmas so one of the ways you know people celebrate christmas is to first decorate their homes i used to work a job and one of my colleagues you know will always tell me at a time if you know before christmas it was this was just like a two months or a month ago and this person was will tell me that oh he's he was decorating he and his wife were decorating their their house and you know some of those people would decorate their house with christmas tree hanging lights and all the kind of decorations of course i wasn't able to visit his house but I, I, I just imagine how that decoration will look like um, because just around my neighborhood here, I see a lot of people decorate their homes with Christmas lights and, you know, Christmas tree and, and so on and so forth. <laughs> so have you decorated your house? I know today is Christmas, but it's maybe you, if you have not, uh, maybe you've, you don't fall into the category of people who decorate their homes. Um, Another way that people celebrate Christmas is to send cards and gifts. You know, many people exchange gifts with one another, with their friends, and with their loved ones, and, and so on and so forth. Um, I've done this a whole lot in the past. In fact, even this Christmas, even though I'm in Nigeria, I, I you know, I was able to send gifts to some of the people that I cared about. And... You know, Christmas is is it's is it's a time of giving. You understand? So, um, sending cards and gifts it it doesn't necessarily have to be cards, but you know, gifts it could be maybe fruits, you know, wristwatch, it could be whatever it is. Uh, you know, that is actually another way by which people celebrate. Christmas and this can also involve purchasing gifts for secret center exchange or for specific people on your gift list. Do you even have a gift list? A gift list? <laughs> you know, I remember when I was very, very small, right? Uh, we would go greet Santa, we call him Father Christmas in Nigeria, and Santa 
we would, we, you know, our parents would buy car. I mean, the card for us, and then we'd go into the center. Um, it's, it, it would just be in a in a room, you know, decorated like you know, this Christmas clothes, and then he'll put on white beards, and then uh, we'll go sit on his laps, and then he would pet us, and then give us a gift. Sometimes it could be sweet, whatever it is, but it's felt really really special we are getting gifts from santa <laughs> so that could be another way to celebrate christmas so other people like me also attend religious um religious services to celebrate christmas so for, for example i'm a christian you know like i said earlier uh so we we do go to church um on christmas day sometimes you know it could be online or it could be physical so People attend church services, even on Christmas Eve, where we have, you know, some people have their carols on Christmas Eve. And then on the Christmas day, they go to the church as part of the holiday. So that is the taught way to celebrate Christmas. And then some people, you know, prepare a special meal. So I have a colleague at my place of work, and this colleague told me that in the family, what they do is they prepare the traditional dishes. And I was like, wow, that is amazing. <laughs> so they normally prepare um, turkey, right? A special kind of turkey. And I'm hoping that this colleague of mine will bring one for me tomorrow at work. And then I'll be able to taste from, from that particular um, Christmas special meal. <laughs> in, in Nigeria, where I came from, you know, we have different tribes. So depending on your tribe, depending on your tribe there are different kinds of food that you would prepare uh for example i am from the yoruba tribe of nigeria we have yoruba we have Hausa, and then we have the Igbo tribe those are the major three tribes in nigeria of course there are a lot but those are the major three so every other one falls on the um that category i mean those categories so i in my own part which is the yoruba aside the fact that almost every home in nigeria would prepare jollof rice you know jollof rice is rice per boiled and then you know mixed up with pepper or spices and everything combined with our vegetable oil you know everything is just there and then most houses would also prepare chicken right for the christmas but in my own part which is uh, yoruba and coming from Ekiti state in, in yoruba will most likely prepare pounded yam so it's just yam um, pounded and then eaten with um you know uh, we'll call it a goosey soup <laughs> anyway if you've not heard about all of these things you might want to do a bit of research with see different um food african food or uh, nigerian food that you can find online then you're gonna see a lot okay um lastly some other people you know participate in different holiday activities depending on where you live you know there are varieties of activities that are being prepared um for diff by different people and for different people for example some people might go to parties some people might go to um you know maybe youth clubs you know, depending on where you live and your environment most likely there's going to be or an activity going on for christmas some people for example um an eatery might prepare maybe a dancing show or you know just to celebrate and to show that they care about people so these are the different ways to um i mean people celebrate christmas um usually the one that i love the most is i go to orphanages i do go to orphanages to give them gifts um, I don't know if there's going to be one here in, in the UK, but in Nigeria, there were orphanages that you could go to and then you could give them gifts and all of that. So um, thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Bologna Journey podcast. I wish you a lovely Christmas and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. <laughs>